फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट द रिलाइड अपॉन ऑर्डर हैड बीन सफरिंग फ्रॉम फेलियर ऑन द पार्ट ऑफ द हाई कोर्ट टू नोटिस द रेलिवेंट कंसिडरेशन एंड द इम्प्यून्ड ऑर्डर इक्वली सफर्स फ्रॉम द शोर्ट कमिंग दैट द रेलिवेंट फीचर्स ऑफ द केस हैव नोट एट ऑल बीन कंसिडर्ड बाय द हाई कोर्ट द समिशंस दैट द रिस्पोंडेंट नंबर टू हैड बीन इन कस्टडी सिंस सेकेंड सेप्टेम्बर टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन और दैट he had no negative antecedents by themselves do not make out a case for a grant of bail looking to the seriousness of crime in question in this regard the submissions of the investigating officer cannot go unnoticed that while the incident took place on 10th july 2019 and one of the accused persons was arrested on 11th july 2019 the other accused persons remained absconding and the respondent number 2 surrendered as late as on 2nd september 2019 so far the questions relating to the role assigned to the respondent number 2 or about the doubt on the prosecution case suffice it to observe at the present stage that the respondent number 2 has specifically been named in the fir as one of the assailants and looking to the nature of the accusations and the nature of injuries the prosecution case prima facie can not dubbed as fanciful or improbable for what has been noticed here in above the impugned order is required to be set aside we have pondered over the question as to the order that needs to be passed in this matter finally it is noticed that in the judgment and order dated 15th march 2021 this court disapproved the order dated 15th february 2020 granting bail to the co-accused and directed him to surrender forthwith more or less the same position would apply to the present case too herein the order granting bail was passed on 3rd december 2020 and the present matter was initially taken up for consideration on 12th july 2021 even if one witness that is the present appellant has already been examined the other witnesses including the eye witnesses are to be examined in the trial in the given circumstances and in the interest of justice we also deem it proper to leave it open for the respondent number 2 to apply for bail afresh after surrendering and at an appropriate stage accordingly and in view of above this appeal is allowed the impugned order dated 3rd december 2020 is set aside with the requirement that the respondent number 2 shall surrender forthwith in the interest of justice it is provided that if the respondent number 2 applies for bail afresh after surrendering and at an appropriate stage such an application may be considered on its own merits in the interest of justice it is also made clear that we have not pronounced on the merits of the case either way and none of the observations herein by itself would operate prejudicial to the interests of the parties nor shall have any bearing on the final verdict 
by the trial court. All pending applications also stand disposed of. Stop.